Arizona's here in the first round of the NCAA tournament. We're in Sacramento, California at the Golden One Center. Pella, here we are back in the NCAAs. This is what it's about. Is it time to kind of put back that Pac-12 tournament championship game in the rearview mirror and focus on what's ahead, what's on your mind as you come into the NCAA tournament? Yeah, we already did first practice back after uh, Vegas and full focus on Princeton right now. So, yeah, we're looking ahead. Arizona's got some momentum off of that Pac-12 tournament championship. When Arizona's right... What does that look like to you guys on the team? Uh, aggression on the defensive end, ball pressure, uh, toughness on the on the boards, and then obviously just being disciplined and uh, following our scout. Not a surprise. You've been thrust into the lineup as kind of a defensive stopper against some difficult matchups. May see again here in the NCAA tournament the same type of thing. Is that something you, you thrive on and look forward to? Yeah, it's always uh, it's something my dad put a lot of focus when he was coaching me when I was young. Uh, you could always uh, affect the game on the defensive end. On the offensive end, it's harder. You have to have the ball sometimes. But defensively, you can always be a great player for the team. Arizona wants to play fast and, and up-tempo, but I've watched you this year. It seems like the game is slowing down for you individually. Do you feel that way? Yeah, I mean, it's just experience. And uh, having been in the system, uh, you can kind of pick and choose when, when to speed up and slow down. And also, we got two of the best bigs in the country, so... Most of the time, I'm just looking for them on the court, so yeah. Courtney hit a big shot. That wasn't his only big shot of the season. How important is Courtney's outside shooting and kind of that momentum shooting for Arizona in a, in a tournament setting? Yeah, I mean, he's a guy that can get extremely hot. We've seen it in McHale and uh, and in Vegas and everywhere. So I think at this point, that's why you see so many upsets that, uh, in March that anyone can get hot, and it's about making shots in uh, in March. You're on the big stage now. What's different from just that regular season game to other than lose and go home, which is obvious, about tomorrow's game against Princeton? I mean, I think it's just a excitement be here and be back here. I mean, it's always all we've been thinking about since uh, last year and uh, all we've been talking about. Uh, so, I mean, it's just the excitement and being thankful to play here again. And, uh, yeah, it's just... Uh, you don't want to have your last team with this these guys as a loss, so that's what we're trying to do. Give me some quick observations about your first opponent, the Princeton Tigers. Yeah, I mean, they got a lot of guys that can shoot, obviously, and they seem to be well coached. Uh, and, I mean, they deserve to be here. Any team that's here, they deserve to be here, so we got to give them respect and our full attention. All right, good luck tomorrow. Pella Larson, Arizona's first-round opponent of the Tigers. Here we go, Cats on the run.